Now, Adam had a good idea as he commented. He says, Matt Bryan, no, the chap that's given me these, a clock, because I think he'll, he'll like one. So anyway, I've been out and picked two clocks up. As you can see, they're not expensive. And uh, got a couple of them. You only use the works out of them. You can, if I was doing many, you can buy them off eBay cheaper, but you know, it doesn't matter, does it? Pointless. And so, what I'm going to do is I'll just show you one of the operations of each one. So in other words, I'll tell you what I'm doing and I'll just show you if I can see where we are. I'm there somewhere. Uh, yeah, you're not going to see there. Are you? Oh, you might. You might because it's easy. Right, so I've got a, got a lead out anyway. So as I say, what all I'm going to do is show you one of the operations of each part. And that way, and I'm, now to clean up, I'm using the flat disc as much as possible. So, what we'll do, we'll just do one of these spanners. In fact, what I'll do, I'll do the big one that I'm using. Yeah, we'll do this one, the one I'm using. And uh, as I say, I'm going to use this as much as possible. So, we'll see if it works. There you are, look. I'm sure you can see that all right. Let me wind that up there and I'm upside down then. But you can see that all right, look, you see. And it's plenty good enough, that is. So I've just got to wire brush this bit now. So we'll do that. So I've got a swap plug over to the drill. Like I said, I'm only showing you, you know, one part, bit of cleaning. And the reason I'm showing you this cleaning is to show you how long it takes because it does take quite a while. Where are you on there? Can you see what I'm doing? Maybe. I if I can come in closer to it. Let's have a look. Oh, upside down, there we are. There you are. You'll be able to see a little bit, I think. Yeah. Right. Vibrates off this bench and put it in the floor in the first place, it won't, will it? So, as you can see from that, I'm sure you can see that, 
that it's uh, it comes all right. That's good enough for painting, or if you're making a leave it, you know, whichever. But as you can see, you know, it does take a fair amount of time, even though I've done it quickly, and I've just got to run round here yet. Anyway. Well, as you can see, let me back that out again now, then you should be able to see better. There, look, you see? So the thing is, a flat disc does it a lot quicker, but you've still got to do it, because it doesn't, of course, get in, you know, like the writing and bits like that, you see? So that's one end done, and I've got to do four. So <laughs> I'll get on and do that. Well there are look, got all the parts cleaned up as you can see and uh, even doing it quickly I've done the middle of that because that's what I'm using and that one of course and four ends right which you see so so far I've only stopped for five minutes you know um, I've been an hour well I have it's, it's over an hour now and I know I've been two or three minutes so it that's took an hour and we're only having four on so of course if you've got 12 on it's going to take you cleaning up alone it'll take about two and a half hours I'm just telling you so how long these things take and I have been getting on with it so far right next thing is that the largest one is the uh, the 12 o'clock hand and it says 9 16 Whitworth and I want that on the front and on here there's a number there and there so we're using that one now the only good thing about these this is 18 of these right so it's pretty easy can we put one there one there and one in that gap there and one in that gap there you see so it saves a lot of time and messing about that does so the next thing is to determine where it's going let me just tip the camera slightly because I'm bending too much there you are. right the next thing we have to determine where it goes and mark it oh. I don't know. it's alright to make these caps so it doesn't mark but now it's not super critical this isn't to mark it because it needs to be just above like that just in the right place so it wants cutting off above them holes so if I turn it over sorry you can't just see what I'm doing there can you but I'm only marking it there I think you can see there so anyway put it where it goes 
and it won't cut enough above it anyway because I'm going to, I'm going to weld down the sides. So I just fold that line like that. There you are. So the next thing, the next job now obviously, we have to cut it off. Let's see if I can hold this in like that enough to cut it. I think I can. Let's give it a go and see. Easier than the hack stuff, ain't it? Isn't it? Is that very hot? No, it's not too bad. Right, so now, as I'm showing you one of everything, the easiest way around that is just to stick the other grinder with the flat disc on. It got a bit warm this house because the fan broke on it, but it'll do this little job. And then, all I have to do. Right, that's that one done. Right, I've clamped that on ready for welding. And uh, this is where you have to be careful. I'm not sure if you can see on there, but it's a little bit warm, but you've got to be, that's got to be smack in the middle of here, right? And I've chosen the one with the number on to be at the top. And you've got to get those dead straight and in the middle. And everything's crooked, so it's it's just eyeing it up, and it's like they always say, if it looks right, it is right. So there you are. Right, so now we have to weld it on, of course. Set eye. Yeah, I think it is. We'll try it and see. I've got to tack this without moving. I'd better put the gloves on if I pick something up that's hot and forget, wouldn't I? Right. So that's one done. Well there's the clock welded up look. As you can probably see, the, the, actually the quarters aren't hard to do because you just get that straight in line with that. It's quite easy. But these two, the problem is you see, if I just turn it around and show you the back, you know, you must be able to see that uh, there's no, it's all odd shaped. See what I mean? There's nothing square anywhere or anything. Anyway, never mind. It's done now, isn't it? So the next thing we have to do is deburr the welds. Which is a fairly easy job. <sighs> do it with a flat disc. They don't need a lot, but they do need a, you know. And then they'll, then the whole thing wants just wire brushing up again, of course. part of the design process for the base you know I showed you that uh, made in England well 
if I use that I thought this might work and of course until you get this bit made you can't blooming see it can you that's the thing why can't you see what I'm doing there you can see what I'm doing now so what I've just you know until you get it done you can't tell so basically that needs to go on there like that you see and of course you could so what I was wondering is to put a stand on here on the edge from there down to there and it'll say made in England on it and I can have it lifted slightly I think that'll look all right so it's got to put that on there and then so the first thing to do will be to cut this off I've shown you cutting off the spanner so I won't show you that bit in the welding and everything else so I'll get on and do that without interruption because it's uh, this bit is where it could go wrong at last <laughs> right <laughs> we've got it done and it doesn't look too bad actually I don't think I've stood back a bit when I was welding it on I did have to just lean it back a little bit because it looked odd when it was straight up but look it's quite it's firm enough you see and I don't know if you'll be able to see on here or not uh, if I can hold it straight enough that way there you are but uh, as I say this is the difficult bit they you've got to get those smack in the middle of that and those in line with that one and smack in the middle of the bottom and as I say so from the front it looks all right I think you'll agree with that it doesn't look too bad from the front does it right so now just move you out the way a bit and the next thing is we've got to paint it I'm going to paint this one I think I think it'll look better black so I've got some oh yeah I think I've got enough here I think I've actually got enough we'll see won't take long drying but of course when this is done we're not finished are we not we're only halfway there because we've got to dismount the clock and we've got to make the center ring so that's the next thing anyway that's just last a bit of paint and i said i'll show you each operation oh, yeah. Just one bit of each operation. When this is the first one is dry, what I do is uh, I can then pick it up and touch up the bits I miss with it being sat here because you can't get underneath and see some of it but as I say you can you can blast it on like it it won't take long drying today that's got most of it so that's not too long a job is it right anyway we've got to relocate now to the machine shop right, I'm a bit compromised for space as usual but I found that to make the center I want well about about two inches it's not critical so what we have to do is uh, with a small hammer put the center dot mark on here that's the first thing just there and then we just have to scribe a line round like that and uh, because this is well it's 
to be honest, it's nearly a video in its own right. So what I'll do, um, I was I wanted to show you, you know, everything, but uh, to show this in real time, there's no point just whizzing it up, is it? You know, to show it in, as I say, real time, um, it's got to take too long. It's got to be a longish video, I know, but uh, one or two said they were interested in how I made them, so I thought I'd show you. I don't think we're doing too bad so far. So what I'm doing is I'll just draw this. There we are. Right, I should say you can see that. As I say, I'm zoomed in. So what I've got to do is, I'll just tell you this last bit. Uh, strip a clock, uh, measure the hole I want once again because I've forgotten. And then you just angle, you know, get your grinder and cut that off, and then do it on the belt sander. So we get a circle, and then it's got to be polished. So, you know, they take a good half hour normally. Right, I got it done at last. There was a little bit of a snag. I had to bend the middle in. The uh, being that being concave, it didn't quite go through, and being at the uh, not in the middle of those I've had to knock one of those off and it took me quite a long while to find my Dremel I didn't remember I left I'd had it downstairs so anyway we've got it done I've got the old clock to bits so it shouldn't be too long a job now to put it together and you don't have to see much of this uh, there's a washer, a washer goes on normally a very thin washer I'll see if there's room for it if not I'll leave it off it doesn't matter obviously um, yeah I think I can just get the nut on there I think we'll have to give it a go anyway I'll have to put it flat like that and press on because these nuts because of the I mean, cheap cloth that no it's not going to go on good it'll have to see if it'll go on without the washer see if the nut will go on I think it will I'm hoping it will I thought I had enough hmm. Not quite enough. Unless, I don't know what I think there should be enough to start it. Surely there is. It's because I wasn't in the middle of the thing. There you go. That's it. Right. What I've got to do now is to get that in the middle of that hole somehow. And uh, put that at the bottom. Hmm. Right. And that needs tightening a fraction. I wonder if I can use these. Might be able to use these little small grip things. Don't need tightening much. You'll strip the threads if you try too hard. It's only just got to hold it, has it? It's not, uh, you know, right, have I got that in the, not quite in the middle yet. That wants to go up there, like that. More. And across that way a tiny bit. There we are. They do, as I say, don't they? They don't hold very well and you've got to be very, very gentle with these nuts because they, uh, they do tend to strip very, very easily. That one hasn't. That's it, that's got it. I don't think I've got it too tight. Right, now I'll put the hands on. And you'll notice, and you want the 
that one on first of course, you'll notice that we on these clocks we have to bend them. And they're very thin and fragile so they need a bit of fine tuning. There we are. Yeah that's on. Missing everything I think. Now for this one. They're very very flimsy these hands. Very flimsy indeed. So anyway what you do look you just stick them on at the obviously there. Like that. And that just wants to come out a bit because it's hitting that. Come on. There we are. And then that bit will want to be straightened up. From there. As I say, it's a lot of... It's actually quite a bit of fiddle to get them right. There we go. We don't have a second hand on. Right. We'll take it downstairs and I'll show you it. Right, so do you like my new masterpiece? Not too bad, does it? I think it's come all right. In the end, a little bit of tweaking needed, but, uh, you know, it seems to seems to be all right at the moment. I might, as I say, there's a little bit of fine-tuning to do on it. There always is, but... Anyway, just for the... Just for the record, I mean, I'm not, uh, as I say, I'm just showing you one part of each bit. It's still got to be a long video, but one or two said they're interested in seeing how they were made. So what you do, when well, you get your parts, you get your bits to start with, then you go to the designer and get it designed, and then uh, you take it to the degrease and blasting and that and cleaning and get it all cleaned up and then you go back to the designer to find out what you need and then you send it to the um, blacksmith you know blacksmith and welder who has to cut it up and weld the parts on and then you send it to the paint shop and then you send to the machine shop to get the middle done and then you send it to the fitters to take the clock to pieces and put all the pieces together. So, <laughs> it has to go around to quite a few people, doesn't it? Quite a few places. Good thing I'm all of them, so I don't have to wait for a minute, eh? Right, hope you like it anyway. We'll leave it at that and see what you think.